today I am still in Georgia and as many of you may know by now Bruce Willis one of the greatest actors of all time like action star uh, Bruce Willis recently retired from acting because he was diagnosed with aphasia and he didn't think he would be able to do it anymore and I, and I kind of think that he thought that he was getting ill towards the end because right before he made that announcement that he was retiring he filmed like eight different movies over the last two years in this video today you know like always I will include the clip so that way if you've not seen the movie you won't be lost but it's definitely you know your typical Bruce Willis action movie so if you haven't seen it and you like that kind of thing I definitely suggest you check it out uh, it's a pretty interesting movie it stars Bruce Willis Luke Wilson and uh, Devon Sawyer so you know this is the film and locations for the 2022 remake of Gasoline Now. The 2022 remake of Gasoline Alley, uh, it takes place it's supposedly in Los Angeles, California. That's where this is supposedly happening at. But like I said, it was filmed in southern Georgia uh, around the Fitzgerald area. It's, it's pretty interesting, like I said, it's your basic Bruce Willis action flick. I can totally get why they figured this would work as Los Angeles and you would never know. I mean, come on and tell me that doesn't look like straight up out of Los Angeles with the palm tree and everything. I'm, we're nowhere near a beach, so I'm not sure what's up with the palm tree, but looks like it's straight out of Los Angeles another thing too this movie like I said just came out in uh, this this year it just came out this year and it's not like it was your summer blockbuster it wasn't the biggest movie so these filming locations are not listed anywhere and I'm just having to I'm having to track them down from scratch because the, they're, they're not listed anywhere there's no listings online there's nothing so I thought it would be interesting because this gasoline alley was one of Bruce Willis's very last movies and I kind of want to document it Bruce Willis is a major star throughout gasoline alley this building right here on the corner this was the the tattoo parlor the gasoline alley that uh, Devon Sawyer's character works at at the very beginning of the movie you can see a shot uh, from in this angle here and you can clearly notice the marble on the outside there and this metal pole standing here is when the girls walking in they even had the American flags up when they filmed that movie their shots uh, where you can see straight out and they that central jewelers you can clearly see it in the movie Roy it's Jimmy I met you on set hey buddy what's going on they changed that southern picker sign to say Angela's flight it's the same like shape and everything and I guess uh, they did that to make you think they were in Los Angeles you can make out this building right here uh, Devon Sawyer is out here you can clearly make out that building with that staircase behind him. Roy, it's Jimmy. I met you on set. Hey, buddy, what's going on? In one of the scenes, you see uh, Devon Sawyer driving his Chevelle in right here. On that building, there was like a flea market. It said flea market across or something like that. But he drove his car right past, and you, you can clearly see everything looks exactly the same. They have shots that were taken from down this way and it's kind of hard to see now because there's trees growing up but there's a few scenes in the movie where you can see this like gateway here with these two tall trees behind them in the shot as like they're parked down there at the tattoo parlor and stuff 
but you can make it out very clearly behind them in the shots in gasoline alley uh they use this tiff theater and believe it or not they actually left the tift on the front of it so even though this was supposedly taking place in los angeles california that uh that tift there was right on the front of the building in the movie And up here, uh, I think the Wizard of Oz, said the Wizard of Oz or something was on it. Luke Wilson's character come to check out the security camera footage. And you see him coming out of this door right here. And you can make out that bubble. That's actually the ticket taker booth. But it was lit up behind him in that shot. They shot a scene in the movie uh, well right here on the other side of this fence Luke Wilson and uh, Devon Sawyer they shot those scenes right there you can you know you can clearly make it out behind them I'm not gonna walk in there though because I don't want the cops to come out and say hey, hey what are you doing there's also a scene that they filmed from right here where you can make out that striped building over here and this white with the red, white, and blue stripes on it on the left um, where they were looking in the trunk of his car. The, that was shot right here. He's just a bad host. If I were you, I would check the people at the Chateau party. That's where I'd start. And we're all still right here on this. I mean, technically we're a block down, but we're all still right here in this one area. I mean, it literally, it would appear as if they filmed this entire movie right here in this area, in this one spot. They actually used this police station as their um, police station in the, the movie. There was a crane shot that they probably would have had from over in here somewhere and uh, you can make out this grass strip here and that one there as well as the sally port and the white strips on the back of the building they didn't even try to hide like there's in that shot there's police cars all in here right and there's a couple right here on this back row there's one of them that's parked that's solid white it's probably uh, you know in the same spot as that one and then like two spots down there's another one but if you look at it it's one of these Tifton police cars it's not even a just a solid white police car it's a Tifton police car but they've blurred out the Tifton on the side of it and they only show it for a split second and I'm gonna show it to you so you can see the where it's blurred but like if you're watching the movie you don't pay attention to that because it's only on the screen for just a moment but they just blur out the Tifton it's wild in fact, up here in the Sally Port, they have one of these little electric uh, golf cart looking things that they had out here in the parking lot when they filmed the movie. They had it parked out in the parking lot out back, back there when they filmed that movie. If I'm not mistaken, Los Angeles Police Department, their cars are black and white, right? I'm pretty sure that they're just they're, they're standard black and white LAPD you know units. So why now are they all solid white? But that's it. This is it. This is the uh, the Los Angeles Police Department in Gasoline Alley right here. Now that red striped the, the striped building that we pointed out a minute ago. It was actually in the movie quite a few times. Um, there's a night shot of it. They also shoot a daytime scene there where Devon Soy is uh, sitting at one of the benches under the awning there talking to the lady. Fucked up shit. Oh, cats. He likes to strut with a scary crowd. It's very, you know, very recognizable from the movie. Again, back to the whole 
they just filmed everything right here in gasoline alley there's several scenes where they're like uh, making a movie with inside of this movie so they have their their movie trucks and all that well they they use this the, their actual movie trucks to film the movie trucks that were part of the movie you know what I mean uh, there's one scene from right here you can clearly make out the the grain silos back there and if you look in that shot uh, they have the the trucks lined up over here. Those are their actual movie trucks because they were filming right here. So they they just use their actual trucks to make it like they were filming the movie in the movie. And uh, you see his car parked right here. And then you can even make out this pole in this tree there in that shot where they're they're filming the movie. That's crazy, absolutely crazy. It, this whole movie is filmed right here in a one block radius in this small town. That's nuts. And just to show you what I mean, everything was filmed in this one block radius. Here's a map and all of the filming locations are marked on this map. So you can see how close they are here in this town. And this is every filming location from the entire movie the entire movie was shot right here. You see Devon Sawyer sitting by the trunk of his car and you can make out this building right here with that awning just over the doors. You can see that behind him in the shot as well as uh, this building over here off to the back side. So all those scenes you know other than like at the airport and that kind of stuff the other scenes where they're supposedly filming all that took place right here right here in this parking lot which is this is the police station right there so it's just right on the back side of the police station so they were so other than you know the the places they filmed just over here in the town they probably filmed half the movie right here at the police department and and at it and right behind it because the, the restaurant is right over there on the other side of this battery and electric building. So it's all right here. This was obviously a very easy, very easy movie to make. They didn't have to move their equipment hardly nowhere. If you notice, one of those trucks, it has like Sinclair written across the side of it. And that is uh, an actual like studio company here and not only can you see that truck there then later on in the movie they shot another clip from right in here standing right in the middle of the road here where you can see this building on the left you can make out this building here on the right with the arches and that uh sinclair truck is sitting right over here again and it's their production truck it's what they were carrying their production supplies in and they used it in the movie and then again, they digitally edited the background to make it look like Los Angeles. Man, the magic of movie making, I swear. It had I not told you that they filmed this here, you it looked like Los Angeles. You probably never would have guessed that it wasn't Los Angeles, California, but it's not. It is South Georgia. There was a scene shot right here in front of this building where Bruce Willis and uh, Luke Wilson are standing out here talking and then uh, Bruce has to go to his kids soccer game you can see that old dilapidated building there right behind him in the shot you can even make out this pole right there this building here that's uh, got that white fabric and then up here on this brick they had some Chinese letters going across it how does Jimmy go from felony assault to multiple homicides? So I just realized uh, there was another scene filmed here. And in this shot, uh, you can see those, those rattling dumpsters in it there. You can also see the roll-up door and the power lines going over the top of it. 
and then you can make out this side over here and they would have had like a portable dumpster right here by that power pole and this was supposed to be an alley they digitally edited the background to make it look like Los Angeles in the distance You can even uh, make out this white gutter. And then they had like a homeless man stationed right here at that wall. That's it right there. This was the, the Los Angeles alley that he pulls into. That's kind of wild. I just, I just happened to recognize the roll-up door and those power lines going over the top of it from the shot so cool there was a shot filmed right here where Devon Soya you can see him hey uh, he's talking to the woman up here on the stairs as she's coming out of that doorway you can clearly see the wooden steps that she's going on and the white building there behind it The only reason I found this was because I found this alleyway. That's it. I just happened to notice it. Man, they, they really did film this entire movie right here in this one block radius. The whole movie was shot right here in this one block. Crazy enough, right here where they filmed these other few scenes in this alley, they also shot another clip um right in here there would have been a uh they had like a jesus mural right there on that and uh, they again digitally edited the skyline up above it to look like it was in the middle of downtown los angeles uh, you can see this power pole in the shot which actually means they were probably a little bit further to the left you can see that massive staircase going across there even the discolored bricks over here all the white of, uh, above the doors and stuff that's it right there man that's wild how they make you think that's Los Angeles so the scene uh, you know, it takes place right here, which is now a nutrition store. And, um, you know, he tells him about the tunnel in San Diego. So they leave and they like get on the interstate and you see him driving down the interstate for, uh, uh, you see a couple of driving shots there. Then the camera cuts to right here. It's, it, it's late at night, so it's hard to make out the caboose down at the end of the road. But you can clearly make out the lamppost there and that blue awning down there on the left and also these uh, islands that stick out into the road and then the camera cuts to the next block back here to show them in San Diego so they go from Los Angeles to San Diego within one block it's wild the, the 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 magic of movie making so they uh they have their scene one block over where the uh they say there's tunnels in san diego that lead to mexico they supposedly take off driving and they're on the interstate going for hours and then the next shot cuts to right in here where you can see the barbecue there you can even see they even left a sign up where it says bird's nest thrift store over there you can see that sign in the movie too this was supposedly the spot where they had a freezer inside that had a tunnel that they dug out going to mexico those scenes were filmed right there That 
is going to do it for this video today from here in Tifton, Georgia and the filming locations for the 2022 Bruce Willis movie, Gasoline Alley. It was all filmed in like one block. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, go down, hit that subscribe button, then hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. If you're one of those that's wanting to help support the channel, you can check out the links down in the description box below. But thank you all. I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay safe and stay healthy. Much love to you all.